love it's good it's a beautiful monday wow wow okay so our topic today in the open heavens devotional is examine your friends examine your friends and i'll be reading from proverbs 1 from verse 10 to 18. i read proverbs 1 from verse 10 to 18 says my son if sinners entice you do not consent if they say come with us let us lie in wait to shed blood let us lock secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alike, alive like sure and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in your lots among us. Let us all have one cause. My son, do not walk in the way, in the way with them. Keep your foot from their paths. For their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. Seventeen, surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood. They lock secretly for their own lives. Glory be to God. Our um, memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm, Psalm 1, Psalm ch chapter 1, verse 1. It says, Blessed is the man who walks not on the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands on the path of the sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Hallelujah. So our topic today says, examine your friends. Examine your friends. Yes, yeah, Solomon was trying to explain to, to um, warn his son about the company he keeps. Just like um, our Open Heavens told us today that we have the companies of the living and we have the companies, congregation of the dead, sorry, congregation of the dead. We can actually see that um, prayer pressure is a powerful influence for adults and um, children. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 2, God personally warned the children of Israel not to follow the crowd. Now, if you look at that um, Proverbs 1, verse 10, it talks about sinners. He said, My son, if sinners entice you, entice you means that. Um, there is someone that will instigate you to do what you shouldn't do. Someone will instigate you. And that is why I want to quickly talk about three major people that you, you, you will see when, we, when it comes to peer pressures. We have the instigators, we have the instigated, and we have the unaffected. The instigators are the ones that brings up trouble. They just like troubles. And the instigated are influenced by the instigators and the unaffected are not um, affected are not influenced by any negative um, um, by any negativity they have a mind of their own so you can see that we should try as much as possible to audit our friends to know the kind of friends we keep second Samuel chapter 15 of the, chapter 13 talks about Amnon that raped Tamar how because he had a crafty friend called Jonadab Jonadab told him oh you are the son of King David what do you want to do? Why are you bored? He said, because I'm in love with my sister, Tama, and I want to have, I want to, I, 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 I'm in love with her. And Jonadab was the one that taught Ammon what to do. We all know the story. He raped her because his, friends, his friend actually told him what and what to do. Today, don't give your consent. Consent means you agree to it. Learn to say no. You have a choice to say no. Learn to always say no. Learn to always say no. And I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, take your time. List out the name of your friends. How many of them are actually born again? How many of your friends are born again? Fine. You can say, oh, you don't want to um, leave your friends alone. If you know you don't want to leave them alone for now, you can actually be praying for them. But you should not give consent. That is the major thing. Don't give consent to do to do any evil or to um, cause any or to do any silly things, giving your consent means you are you agree to it. Remember, remember the devil tempted Jesus for the fact that the devil enticed Jesus to do something. It didn't lead to sin. That was just temptation. But if Jesus had given consent to it, then it would lead to sin, and sin leads to death. So when you give your consent, you are in agreement to it, and that means you will sin and sin leads to death. I pray for you and I, that the Lord will open your eyes. He will open my eyes also to know the kind of friends and company we should keep in the name of Jesus. 
Glory, glory be to God. Let us pray. Father, our Lord, our Father and our Heavenly our, our, our Father, we thank you so much for today. Thank you for bringing it into our consciousness again that we need to examine the companies we keep. Therefore, our Lord, we pray you help us to lead us, surround us with kingdom connections, kingdom friends that would edify the body of Christ, that would even help us to grow spiritually and would lead us to uh, a greater level in our destiny in the name of Jesus. So we give all the glory to God. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Um, if you love this video and you are blessed by this video, please kindly press the like button, share and subscribe. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm.